and Mad Money, we're always looking for the next big theme. So sometimes we need to go off the tape, check in with privately held companies, ones you can't buy shares in, that are developing potentially game-changing technologies. Take Simplivity. This is a technology company that sells what's known as hyper-converged infrastructure. Basically, they package up the components of servers, networking equipment, and storage into a single system that runs more cheaply and more efficiently than traditional servers at takes up a lot less room. This is a rapidly growing business that could represent the future of information technology infrastructure. Earlier this week, I got a chance to check in with Duran Kempel. He's the CEO of Simplivity. Take a look. Duran, okay, I'm gonna give you the hardest job ever. You're going to explain to our viewers what hyper-converged infrastructure is and where Simplivity fits in to the food chain. Lots of long words. Okay. Let's start by reminding everybody what an iPhone does. And I'm not promoting iPhone, but if we think about the iPhone here on the left, it displaces pretty much a lot of gear, equipment, right. products that we loved for many years. Cameras, laptops, radios, etc. Right. So if you think about that, this is consumer electronics. Similarly, when you look at the world of IT infrastructure, information the largest technology infrastructure, information okay. technology infrastructure, the largest companies in the world run their data centers on gear such as that. Right now, in other that, words, there'd be a room, a data room, where there'd be like whole buildings that have these, all these different machines. Exactly. Depending on the size of the corporation, and AT&T is very much in the news right. these days, they have large, I would call it buildings. Okay. Filled with this gear. Which costs money to have big buildings. It costs money, money for all the gear and the software so and the installation. This, exactly. If you think about the stack of equipment right. here, the world consumes about $110 billion of this gear every year. Okay. So that's a lot of... As well as oh. generating a huge amount of heat, which people care now about sustainability, heat, power, right? power, labor, right? Okay. services, and so forth. Now, similar to the concept of a smartphone, okay. basically what SimpliVity, notion of simplicity, tried to do since 2009, is develop a unique technology that displaces all of the gear that we see here on the left with a single atomic IT building block, basically a standard server. That's hyperconvergence. Okay. Now, there are different hyperconvergence vendors, right. and they differ along two dimensions. One dimension is the number of these products that they displace. Okay. Some of them displace two or three, some of them displace all. Well, don't I want something to replace all? Absolutely. And that's why I want SimpliVity? Exactly. <laughs> that's to come. Well, why don't I want Nutanix, which came public and is fantastic? Nutanix is a great company. Oh. You're it's not flagging first. them. Absolutely not. We have great respect okay. for them. In fact, we're very happy for their very successful IPO, okay. which has basically separated hyperconvergence from the legacy stack. Right. So this is very useful. And now, if you can just tell people, like, the legacy stack might be EMC, where you're where you are, or? So let's look at it from the top yeah, down. Let's... At the top of the stack, you have servers. Servers okay. could be Cisco, HP, Dell, Lenovo, right. and many others. Well, you can still partner with, but you Absolutely. Right. Then you have the world of data or storage. This mm -hmm. is the complicated world. So if you look at where my finger is right here, right. this is basically a storage switch. Okay. And from it all the way down, you have a lot of different products that have to do with data management, okay. data protection, data mobility. This is a very complicated uh, world. What SimpliVity does, uniquely, mm -hmm. having invested more than any other company, including Nutanix, in developing core technology, okay. is basically displace the whole stack. So that's one dimension of differentiation. What is the scope of functionality right. that you offer? The other dimension is very important, is how far up market can you deliver these products? Do you offer them in very small companies, okay. or can you deliver them to the largest of the companies in the world? All right, well, let me just stop for a second. Uh, I look at this and I say to myself, why is anyone using that when they could use this? In the sense that, why would anyone use anything other than an iPhone? Or, or, or a verisimilitude as opposed to, you know, having all these different products. Is it legacy? Are there IT people who don't believe that you you can do it? Evolution. So evolution. it takes time. Okay. And you, We're and all you familiar need with the concept of early adopters, early majority. Okay, so show me some more time. then. So, in order for the world to start moving from left to right, right. what we need are reference customers. Plus, yeah. this all sounds unbelievable. Yeah, it does. Well, let me show you one of the 50 largest companies in the world. And this is one of six data centers that they had before SimpliVity. 34 racks, okay. This is one of their data centers in the West Coast. I visited them on July 12th. And, and I took photographs. confidential, but you... Confidential, can't share their name, but they're one of the 50 largest companies in the world, generating more than $100 billion in revenue. Okay. And this is one of their six data centers. Now, what we see here 
a Rex, basically a refrigerator right. size Rex of gear. This okay. is storage, they have servers, switches, etc. There are 34 Rex of gear. This is their legacy environment. Okay. Having partnered with SimpliVity, mm -hmm. all of this just in one data center is displaced by the gear just on this. the left. So from 34 Rex on the left, we go to just three Rex on the right. That's an 11 to one conversion of what? Of gear that you don't purchase. It unifies, instead of having 10 different products in 34 Rex, you now have one type of product that you can manage from one screen globally. Okay. Think about all the space, think about all the power. According to them, they're reducing the total cost of ownership by 100 billion, excuse me, okay. I'm ahead of myself, 100 million dollars okay. over five years. Right. But what does that mean? If you're a CIO and you look at this particular picture, it tells you that this is yesterday's world right, and this, and this is the iPhone. Okay, so that just solve this for me on 1020, Four of this year, uh, SimpliVity sh shed staff rattles Tim for 100 million. Same day, uh, Forbes says that you are the uh, really the second place rival, but growing much faster and doing much better. Can they both be the same stories? Absolutely. Why is that? Just like the Patriots or the Denver Broncos, they win a championship, they still need to retool, prepare for the next right. season. So basically at the end of the day, when the company grows as fast as we have grown, basically twice year over year, you need to make adjustments and you need to do that in a programmatic manner. It's unfortunate, you right. care about people, but you need to shift people within the company and sometimes you need to add new staff. Right, it's, it's still mean, the growth still accelerating, everything's yes. on the right path. Well, look, I gotta tell you, this is pretty telling stuff. Yes. And I'm gonna be watching your company for a long time. Thank you. That's Doron Kempel, he's the chairman and CEO of SimpliVity. Understand, it is a private company. It does compete against one that we talked about possibly on just last week, Nutanix. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.